Hey, this is Nerion, and welcome back to a brand new episode of Citizen Bytes, your quick, concise source for the latest news and updates from Star Citizen. First off, apologies for the delay. Life has been busier than an Aurora pilot in a dogfight, but we're back. And today we're talking about the latest Q&A on Drake's latest heavy hitter, the Ironclad. So let's dive into it. Key differences in features. So when it comes to talking about the Ironclad and its assault variant uh, with its competitors, it does go head to head with the Anvil Liberator and Crusader Hercules. The Liberator does great for transporting vehicles, albeit exposed, and the Hercules offers enclosed cargo and multiple turrets. However, the Ironclad Assault surpasses the Hercules in firepower, and the base Ironclad boasts a superior cargo capacity. It is like choosing between a Swiss Army knife and a full toolbox, both useful, but the Ironclad does pack more of a punch. Now, when it comes to the capabilities, the Ironclad essentially does function as a mini carrier, though its cargo bay isn't standard hangar size. It's designed for cargo metrics with max dimensions of 40 by 21 by 7.5 meters. Uh, the retractable roof doesn't cover the full volume, so only small ships need apply. Think of it more of a as a cozy garage rather than an aircraft hangar. Now, when it comes to design and utility, both versions do feature the retracting roof, but the assault version loses the tractor beam setup. So if you are hoping to moonlight as a space crane operator, you'll need the base version for that. Um, identical thruster layouts for both versions, uh, including integrated VTOL thrusters, you know, because sometimes you just need to land like a majestic space pelican. And no armory shown in the assault cutaway yet, but they're planning to find space for one during production. Because what's an assault ship without a place to store all your persuasion tools? And when it comes to repair and self-destruction, of course there is the assault version's repair bay, which can handle more than just vehicles. It's all about volume and resources. More details on repair and crafting are coming soon, so stay tuned. Um, the Ironclad does also have a dual self-destruct system, one in the command module and one in the main hull, triggering the module's blow up, blows up both if attached, while the main hull can be detonated from the control room. A little something for those scorched earth moments. When it comes to module and control, the command module is compatible with both the Ironclad and the Caterpillar. The Ironclad's module is a slight redesign but keeps many features. It's like getting an upgrade without having to learn new controls. And without the command module, the Ironclad can't fly. Think of it as a beached whale. It retains power and defensive functionalities but won't be winning any races anytime soon. Now, when we look at insurance and mechanics, they are still working out the details on how insurance will handle the detachable command module and the main ship. Um, more info will be available closer to the ship's release. Here's hoping the premiums don't give you a heart attack. And yes, the command module has its own quantum drive for independent travel, so if you need to make a quick exit, you're covered. Now, the Ironclad is also heavily armored compared to other ships its size. Armor mechanics will be implemented appropriately at launch. Um, think of it as wearing medieval plate armor in a bar brawl. Effective, if a bit heavy. Miscellaneous features. Now, the turret at the rear of the cargo bay is for defense, not tractoring. Because sometimes the best defense is a well-placed turret. And the assault version trades tractor beams or more firepower. If you need to move things around, bring some FPS tractor items or a tractor capable ship. Now, no air shield at the top of the cargo bay, of course. Once open, it vents to space. So watch your step or risk an unplanned spacewalk. So, in conclusion, the Drake Ironclad is a formidable freighter that doesn't shy away from a fight. Whether you're hauling cargo or engaging combat, this ship has you covered. So I can say I'm quite excited for this upcoming ship. Well, that is it for today's episode of Citizen Bites. Feel free to share your thoughts on this Q&A um, and the Drake 
Ironclad. Thanks for sticking around, and remember, you don't have to read the dev updates. I do it for you with a side of wit. Please like, subscribe, and hit that notification bell to stay in the loop with all things Star Citizen. Of course, when I always get round to them. Well, not always, at least. But anyway, that's enough rambling for today. You can say fly safe, citizens, and may your command module never detach unexpectedly. I have once again been an unprofessional gamer. That's a wrap.